In this video, I want to show you how to get the search volumes from Google for these particular keywords. Now, I do want you to keep in mind that the, uh, the search volume that comes from Google is not particularly the same search volumes that would be uh, sort of uh, recorded by Amazon, eBay, Target, or Walmart, but it's still nice to know kind of generally what how many, you know, how many people are searching for these particular keywords in general. Now, like I said, um, I think I said this in a previous video, but um, the thought process of a person that's searching for something to buy, for example, like a barbecue brush, a lot of times people go to Google and try to find information about different barbecue brushes, and then when they come to a, um, a decision, a buying decision, they end up going to eBay, Amazon, or wherever, and that's where they actually buy the product. So let's say, for example, they're looking for a barbecue brush, and they found one that, that they really love, and that particular barbecue brush was called, I don't know, you know, barbecue brush Terminator 1000 or something like that, right? So then they'd go to Amazon.com and type in Terminator 1000 barbecue brush. You see, so they didn't actually type that into Google, they typed it into Amazon. So you can start to think that, well, the uh, search volumes for certain keywords in Amazon is a lot different than Google. But nevertheless, a lot of these keywords are quite generic in this particular example here. So some people do want to see, you know, a general idea of what the search volumes are in Google. So Google has something called a Google Keyword Planner. All you have to do is just right click, select Google and go to Google Keyword Tool. And it'll bring you to the Keyword Planner. Now, I don't know, say for example, say maybe in the future that link changes or something like that. Another way to find it, just go to Google and just type in uh, Google Keyword Planner. And it should come up like, there it is right there. Um, probably the first link brings it to the same place. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And um, I think you need an AdWords account. I signed up for AdWords probably over 15 years ago, so I don't know what it's like now to sign up for a Google AdWords account. I, I'm guessing it's still free, and you probably need a Gmail account to do it, but I'm sure it's pretty simple to sign up for a, a Google AdWords account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. All right, I've signed in. Now, what you want to do here, now I don't use this very often because I spend most of my time designing software lately, so bear with me, but um, what you want to do here is you want to see the get the search volume data and trends. You click there, and you want to enter in your keywords. you got a few options down here. And um, if you go back to the Keyword Generator tool here, a good idea here is to stick with whatever you uh, selected in the data sources. So if you selected US and UK, Amazon, eBay, US and UK. It's probably a good idea in the Keyword Planner to match that. I already did it here, so you want to select United Kingdom and, and Uni uh, United States. Save that. Um, Google or Google Search Partners. I just selected Google for now. And then you can also look at the show average monthly searches for from November to October, so that's, I guess, a full year. And now you want to put in the keywords, so you can just paste them in there. And you just want to go over, let's sort by the score, and let's just select a bunch of the of these. So I'm just going to hold down my left mouse button, or you can alternatively just select one, hold down the shift key, and, and then uh, select another one down there. Go right click, copy, selected keywords, right click and paste. In get search volumes and it said it didn't display anything uh, let's see here there we go select a button there get search volumes I'm not sure what was going on there must be some little hiccup in their system but I just clicked on add group ideas and the data just showed up I go back to keyword ideas there we go now you get an idea of the different average monthly searches so showing 10k to 100k 1k to 10k so now you have an additional layer of information that you could use to sort of come up with um, the most important keywords and you can also search by suggested bid uh, it doesn't want to do that there today there we go it's working now so generally you know that the higher number bid um, the, would represent uh, 
a valuable keyword. So if people are paying two bucks a click sort of thing for grill covers, then obviously grill covers is a keyword that's um, a, a, a profitable keyword. So I'm sure there's a lot more features included in here, but um, basically this is all I really do when I need to take a look at different search volumes, but something pretty basic. But just want to add this little video in here to give you another option of where you can actually find some search volumes uh, for free. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't have to pay for a Google AdWords account or get access to this tool. You don't have to pay for anything. Um, I think you only have to pay when you start listing your ads in the Google AdWords system to uh, get traffic to whatever you're buying your traffic for. But this is a useful little tool just to sort of add another layer of information onto those keywords that you generate in the keyword generator tool.